Oh, look who here. I've just been sitting around watching Beaver and his diabolic diabetic bitches. I gotta tell you, I've been all over the world. I'm a fucking winner. Me, don't doll my sheen. Do not doll my sheen. Do not doll my sheen. All right, man. I, I've seen artists from here, from Tierra del Fuego. I've been all around the world. I just got back from Japan. I'm a little, I can't, I'm glowing at night. But don't doll my sheen, baby. Don't doll my sheen. Peter Hensley, I've, been, I've seen artists. I've seen it all. I, I toured with Shithole for three years. I fucking, I've done it all. I've been beat up. I've been bruised. I've been pounded to the mat. But I'll go to the mat for Beaver Hensley. He's the truest, uh, the truest artist of his kind. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. There is nobody like him. I tell you, brothers, Beaver Hensley, Blood Art Gallery, dot MySpace, blogs. Beaver Hensley, MySpace, blogs. Blood Art Gallery, Blood Art Gallery, MySpace, blogs. I tell you what, Google, Google Beaver Hensley. Google Beaver. Google the Beaver Hensley. Uh, he's the truest artist. He he paints. He he sculpts. He he fingers his prick. I mean, he pricks his fingers. Beaver Hensley, the blood artist. Blood Art Gallery, MySpace, blogs. Google me. Google Beaver. El Loco, out. Beaver Hensley here. Diabolic diabetic. Uh, being a diabetic is pretty freaking hard, so it's hard to wrap your head around it. So, I had some help with the 26 diabolic, di diabolic diabetic ladies myself. Um, I inherited diabetes from my mom, and so these are uh, some outlets. Styrofoam heads, 26 of them, from A to Z, with female names. And uh, they're my diabolic, diabetic dames. Uh, I take my used insulin and uh, diabetic paraphernalia, and I made art out of them. And this is my contribution to uh, every diabetic out there. You know what I'm going through, and uh, do something with it. To all those crying tears of blood at this very moment. And, uh, yeah, today's St. Patrick's Day, 2011. St. Patrick's Day, 2011. War year, I forgot what war year. Damn. But, Damn. Uh, I think so. We need, to, we need to move on. Anyway, there's a meltdown in China, in Japan. <laughs> Tsunami, earthquake, atomic. Anyway, this was our project I started... May 2002, and I finished it in November 2005. Three and a half years of pain. These are my ladies. <laughs> this is Eve. Of course the first one, Eve. She was born May 16th, 2002. Number one, Eve. Styrofoam head, diabolic diabetics. And that is your blood on there. This is my blood. This is from testing my blood and my test strips and everything associated with diabetes. These are my needles that I click to get my blood to let out so I can get a test. These are my syringe and uh, needles and the sheaths and the toppings and for the eyes, all my uh, drugs for glaucoma. So, number two, Yoko, her name's Yoko. She reminded me of Yoko Ono. Uh, she said, paint with your blood and paint every day, which is what I do. And she was born 8-17-2002, August 17th, 2002. This is Jane's pain. These are the test strips that I use to get my blood glucose levels. And these are the needles from my syringe, 10 needles. 
And these are the needles with the sheaths on them. And these are uh, syringe needles also. And the warning tags from uh, the covers of the needles. So James Payne, she was born 9-4-2002. Moving on to number four. <laughs> this is Crystal. I used all the needles from my insulin shots to make her face. And these are the <laughs> these are the test strips that the code strips that go into my testers. Number four. She was born 1922. 2002, 2002. All right. DD's doses. Different doses for different amount of insulin you need to do. Number five. DD's doses. Syringe head. She was born September 14th, 2002. Pretty fun. It looks like you could play her head like a trumpet. <laughs> But it's not funny. This part. These are the sisters. This is Bloody Mary. They all have their own little stories. Uh, she takes abuse from her husband. She took abuse from her husband for so long that uh, it's, it's not good. Don't be, don't be abuser. Don't be a beater. Get help if you are. She takes the abuse. Now this is... Number six, Bloody Mary. This is her sister, number seven, Battered Betty. Her husband abuses her too, but she gives it back. She gives and takes the abuse. She doesn't put up shit without nobody. Battered Betty, number seven. Nah, this is all my blood. And uh, this is my art. Diabolic, diabetic art. So, these are the pen needles that deliver my insulin, and her name is Lily. She's Eli's sister. She was born 11-17-2002, and uh, these, these pens, they're Humalog insulin pens, they come from Eli Lily out of Indianapolis. Says, hey, that's where I'm from. So that's why her name's Lily, and that's why she's Eli's sister. Eli Lily. All right, number nine. This is Virginia's Tears of Blood. The first Tears of Blood. Uh, Virgin Mary, Virginia's Tears of Blood. She's got the cross. This is... Uh, she has her own story too. Go to Tears of Blood, Blood Art Gallery, at MySpace, blogs. Today's the anniversary. Yeah. This is, uh, she was born on my birthday, 12 28 <laughs> 2002. Hey. This is Testy Tina. She's got the, the test strips and uh, the poker eyes. These are what I put into my prick fingers to prick my fingers. Not to, not to finger my prick, but to prick my fingers. <laughs> these are the tops of the needles. And uh, all these have been tested on my blood. They got blood on the DNA. These are my diabolic, diabolical DNA heads. <laughs> And she's got a nice hairdo. It took a while to do this one. Uh, but I started December 1st and finished it huh, December 2nd, 2002. I knocked myself out. All right. Number 11. Susie Shoots. These are the pen delivering needles as her eyes. And these are the covering cheese. Pull these off to get to the needles to hook to your pen, and then you shoot on up. 
So she was born 2003. This is the first time I had all the ladies out at once. Uh, they've been on my updates separately in three different years, but uh, this is all at once. This is Gija's Crown of Thorns. Uh, religious reference, Jesus, crown of thorns. And each of these thorns are the pen delivery system with the sheath on them. And I, <laughs> I kept the sheaths on them and bled in the needle. Then I glued them to her head. So there's encapsulated beaver blood in all of these. Jeejah's Crown of Thorns, February 22nd, 2003. All right. One more and we'll take a break. This is called Willow's Warnings. These are warnings from all the diabolic diabetic drugs I'm taking uh, for diabetes, for glaucoma, for uh, everything. Just all the different warnings, do not freeze, urgent, do not mix this medicine, do not take with drugs, possible side effects, take with drugs, take with food, do not take with food, shake well, do not take with alcohol, take with alcohol, oh, pff, no, that one, I'm kidding. Possible side effects, yes. She's blotted out. Willow's warnings, you've been warned. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, this one uh, goes out to all my horror movie-making friends that uh, I would love to do a movie with. i got a lot of ideas here that uh, I'm sure, I hope I don't get ripped off, but I always do. But anyway, uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, the guy at Horror, Blood by the Gallons, Blood by the Gallons. And uh, Richard Rodriguez, and of course Quentin Tarantino. Quentin, we've got to work together. I think it'd be great. Quentin, anybody, Sam Raimi, M. Night Shyamalan, Stephen King, come on, let's talk. I'll, sh I'll show you around to the girls. So, this one, uh, it is St. Patrick's Day, 2011. Blood Art Gallery blogs. Look up Tears of Blood, my most moving art piece, and another Irish art in blood. The word art in Irish and blood. <clears throat> the word art and blood in Irish. All right, uh, that's it. Another St. Patrick's Day from a couple years ago. Blood Art Gallery at MySpace blogs. All right, uh, now number 14. <laughs> it's called The Death of Hope. I. Uh, had a lot of bad news, a lot of bad shit happened, and I was transferring a lot of built up, pissed off anger, and and I still am. This is called the Death of Hope, number fourteen. I started her May twenty first. I finished her May twenty second, two thousand three. I just went crazy on her. The Death of Hope. That's the way I felt. Too much depression. So I released that depression through art. I tried to work through the pain. The pain. Painting. The first four word, four letters in the word paint is pain. And I have pain for my art. This one saw the movie Frida. And somehow she became Frida. Number 15. I started her 6 6 and finished her 6 16 2003. These, once again, encapsulated blood. These are my delivery needles for my insulin, for the insulin pins. Then I turned around, filled them with blood, and glued them to her head. I really love this one because I uh, saw the movie Frida with Selma Hayek and it inspired me. It was great. It was great. Great movie, Selma. As a matter of fact, it's where my parents are from. Selma, Indiana. Anyway, this is Pam 
Pam's prick. These are uh, the lancets that I prick my fingers with to draw the blood to get my glucose level ratings. And I guess she's got a hook in her, so I should hold her like this. So each one of these has been in me and bled on. It's a different kind of system. So I just love the collars. And uh, the eyeballs are caps from my glaucoma medicine vials from the bottles that they come in. And it's Pam's Prick. Pricks? Pam's Pricks. Number 16. She was born 10 9 2003. All right, moving on to number 17. I was in a crazy rock band for a while, and uh, this is number 17, Octavia. Uh, when I started this, I had no idea what I was doing, but these are also testing lancets that cut my fingers so I can draw blood to see where my glucose level are, is. And these are uh, the code strips for the glaucom glaucometer meter. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, it reminded me of Octavia, a friend of ours, that uh, she has oh, yeah, some crazy, Octavia. Yeah, crazy body art, crazy body art, tattoos and piercings, and not crazy, but original. She's got a devil tattoo that's pretty freaking awesome. I won't tell you where that's at. Anyway, Every 17. man already knows where Octavia. the devil part of a woman's body is. Octavia. I started her October 27th, finished her October 29th, 2003, right before Halloween. Yeah, excellent. Number 18, Aphrodite, goddess of love. She's, she's uh, doing her hair, getting ready to go out to make some love. Number 18, Aphrodite, Goddess of Love. I started her uh, November 3rd, finished her November 9th, 2003. These are uh, the vials that hold my test strips so I can get my meter readings. So uh, Aphrodite, I had fun with this one. It was really fun doing her. And uh, she's got her hair up. She's getting ready to go out. She's putting on her makeup. Got a little something dangling from her lips. Not my, no. Anyway, these are the lid caps for the lids. These held my strips. Number 18, Aphrodite, goddess of love. Okay, that's a little over the top, but... <laughs> uh, number 19, Cunning Kate. I started her February 13th. Finished her February 24th, 2004. And, uh... These are my lancets, and these are the sheaths that cover the lancets. So after I bled, I made holes with blood, and I glued in the tops of the sheaths. So she's got studs and piercings, and she's pretty cunning because you go to mess with her, grab her by her head, and you're going to get pricked. You're going to get poked. You're going to get jabbed. <laughs> Pins and needles, my friend. Don't mess with Cunning Kate. Number 19. This is number 20. Zing with an X. Started February 24th. Finished her March 24th, 2004. Hey. She, uh, she was kind of a Manson follower. She just X'd herself out of the world. Is totally devoid of any human contact, any want of human contact, except for her own kind. And that's one of the one of the things. <laughs> she is her own kind. There's nobody like her. Number twenty. Zing. All right. Number twenty-one. Irene's dreams. Started her uh, 629. She was born 1220, 2004. This one took me a long time. Uh, this is, has to do with all, all the pain and thinking of diabetes. All has to do with diabetes. This is 
a mind fuck. And this is what Irene dreams about. It's all she dreams about. Diabetes, day and night, syringes, drugs, insulin, test strips, eye drops, poking, prodding, shooting. And it's fucked up. Insulin's one fucked up thing. This is number 21 called Irene's Dreams. And this is number 22, Nana's No-No's. These are uh, all the things you shouldn't do by taking drugs. No drinking. Eat with food. For the eye, for the eye, for the eye. Don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. And we've got to take five seconds here. She was born January 27th. She started January 27th. And bored January 31st, 2005. Once again... Insulin tops, eye drop tops, all the different colored warnings. Try to make something out of nothing, out of the pain, out of the disparity, something out of nothing. This is number 23. Crank it up. This is Ruth's migraines. I saw her in half. If you look down the middle, I glued her with my insulin needles. And they're encased with blood. I glued them on each side and I squeezed her, squeeze? I squeezed her head together till it was squozing so much that it stuck. And there's blood all up in all the end capsules. I think there's 13 needles inside. If you look down in there, that crack there. Look down the crack. <laughs> Number 23, Ruth's Migraines. I started her 210, finished her February 21st, 2005. All right. Number 24, Uma's Asleep Forever. These are ladies from A to Z. They all have diabetes. Uma's Asleep Forever. She went to bed. She went to shock. Diabetic comatose. Swallowed her tongue. Um, she went into convulsions and died. Died in her sleep. I started her 426 and I finished her 430, 2005. Actually, that's when she was born, but that's when she actually died. Number 24, Uma asleep forever. I almost died like that not too long ago. It's fucking crazy. I'm on number 10 of my nine lives. All right, number 25. This is called Queenie. She was started August 19th and finished August 24th, 2005. Once again, these are my insulin delivery systems needles from the pen. And these are encased with my blood. I turn the needles over and put blood in them. And then I fill them with glue. And I fill the hole with glue. And then I encase my blood and glue them to her head. Queenie. So that leads us up to number 26 of our diabolic diabetic dames. These are my ladies. This is my last lady. Her name is Zenith. Um, she was born October 22nd and she died November 11th, November 8th, 2005. She's the last of the series of 26 diabetic, diabetic heads. And she couldn't take any more. She hung herself. And just too much to handle. Depression, diabetes, drugs, dipshit, fuck. Anyway, um, I'd like to thank Joe Cable. The Slipknot was made by Joe Cable. And this is number 26, 13 knot necklace for Zenith. 13 knot necklace for Zenith. 
All right, that's the end of the uh, all of my ladies in one shot. You've seen them through the updates. I think five, six, and seven. Uh, once again, I started this project really uh, in 2002 and finished it three and a half years later, 2005, the end, almost 2006. And uh, yeah, these are my inspirations and my angst release. And uh, these are my biatches. So I'd like to thank Joe Cable and everybody. And uh, gosh, 26 diabolic diabetic women in one spot. I'm Beaver Hensley, the diabolic diabetic, the original diabolic diabetic. We'll uh, catch you on the flip side. I love this shit, man. I, I just fucking just love this shit. First four were. Letters in the word pain or it's pain. I'm an artist that is in pain. Later.